after a hundred days off of YouTube, it's really nice to be able to say to you, what to do, comic babies? You see, I'm Bunkmaster B, and today we're going to talk for the first time in, uh, in a little while. So according to super producer James Abel, who uh, basically is responsible for half the content on Comics YouTube, it has been, at the time that I am filming this, uh, 100 days since my last video here on YouTube. Uh, did you check it out? I think it was Power Rangers Deluxe Book 2, but uh, it was 100 days ago. How am I supposed to know? And clearly, uh, you know, I, I haven't done uh, any videos on this channel here in that time. Not for lack of wanting to. Um, I actually filmed uh, probably two or three videos in that time that I just didn't finish and, and for whatever reason didn't put up. Um, you know, there was something that I wasn't happy about with it or uh, just the editing got away from me. It just, for whatever reason, it didn't end up happening. And, you know, of course, the summer, uh, you know, my, my family uh, is kind of all together. Um, you know, kids are off of school. Uh, my wife uh, is uh, she works at a school, and so she's also off of school, and so you know, the schedule kind of goes by the wayside, and it just kind of got away from me a little bit. But we just uh, restarted the school year, and I got the itch again. And um, part of my issue before was uh, when I was wanting to do this and, and trying to put a video out there is there's kind of this pressure after this. Uh, um, you know this this delay and it's not just a YouTube like if, if you don't make YouTube videos just think about really any kind of like habit that you do if you get away from it for a little while it's always that hard to start and like the first time that you do it you, it's like you got to make it something special we kind of put this pressure on ourselves and that can kind of get in the way of doing the thing itself because we're putting so much pressure on and oh well is this gonna be good is it gonna be not and so I kind of decided, you know what, I'm just going to take the pressure off. I'm going to punt the first video back, and it's just going to be a me talking to you guys, the comic babies. And by the way, have you been working out since, uh, since the last time we saw each other? Because you're looking good. Not in like a creepy way, but in just a, hey, you do you. You're doing a good work. I hope you're doing well. But... So, uh, you know, I just, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, where I've been, uh, it, at least in, in sort of the comic space, um, what I've got planned coming up, and also to kind of hear from you guys, uh, those of you who are sticking around and still seeing this after all this time, um, I, I want to know, like, what you guys are thinking. Uh, but first, let's start off uh, what has happened since uh, the last time I put up my video. I want to say most like going the farthest back uh, as far as comic stuff um i actually got to be on uh, uh near mint condition um omar's channel one of the uh the the absolute you know goats of the uh the comics youtube space um and and really like someone who's kind of responsible for the fact that this channel even exists um I got to be part of two different live streams with Omar. I've been on the, the year-end wrap-up video a few times, but Omar was kind enough to invite me to, uh, uh, to both an indie comic, uh, the upcoming release schedule for Boom, uh, IDW, Image, Dark Horse, the, those kind of the, the advanced solicits, and then one uh, I was really proud of, which was the Evergreen Library list, where a whole bunch of us kind of came in and pitched the five books that we think every library should have for comics and graphic novels. Uh, it was a really fun discussion, ended up going a really long time, and Omar, uh, being a, just a really swell dude, actually donated all of the books that we ended up voting. Um, really proud of that video, and I think it was a really fun discussion and a talk about uh, some great comics. Um, those will be down in the description if you want to check them out if you hadn't seen before. Um, so that was way at the beginning. Um, also, uh, since then, and this one has been really fun, um, I've got to be uh, p the permanent co-host on uh, Omnidog's channel for the monthly Crime Corner segment. Um, so I've been popping up on, on Jess's channel for a little while now, uh, but it hadn't been anything sort of official. It just been sort of been, you know, he texts, hey, are you free on this day? And, you know, we figure out a day and then we just come up and kind of figure something out. But uh, you know, I'm a big lover of the crime comic genre, and it's uh, been a great way to 
you know, um, the the format that we have now, which I, I've really been liking, is I bring one book that I love, he brings one book that he loves, and we kind of talk about them together. There's not typically real any real kind of cohesion. The last show that we did, um, you know, we did uh, we did crime books by French authors. Um, I brought in uh, the Grand Odalesque and uh, and uh, Olympia. Uh, he brought in Black Water Lilies. Uh, but normally it's just, I want to read my crime book. He wants to read his crime book. Uh, we read it and, and talk about them. And it's been a ton of fun. Um, I always love talking with Jess. And just having a, a chance to go ahead and do that has been uh, has been great. So, uh, you know, I'll, again, I'll, I'll put links to the, uh, the past shows that we've done. And, uh, you know, we... Uh, we did our October or our, our August show just a little while ago, so we've got a September show coming up probably here at the end of the month. So, would love to see you there. Uh, got that um, popped up on um, the uh, congratulatory stream for the Brave and the Boys YouTube channel uh, with Jake and Jordan uh, for their 5,000 uh, subscriber milestone. Uh, my first ever live stream that I did was. Uh, curating their uh, their 100th video uh, live stream and that kind of started getting me onto to all of that so uh, it was a very cool moment that I, I got to come out and congratulate them and I actually had um, my kids come on and, and uh, congratulate them too so that was a cool moment uh, but really you know like I said besides that I've been popping up on, on some other channels uh, on some different places doing live streams but as far as pre-recorded you know I just I've got a few things and I, I think I think I could do some retooling on some of them, and um, you know, they'd uh, I, I could probably put them up in the future. Uh, there's some things I like about them, but you know, whether it be timing issue, uh, like one of them was a uh, a video about um, should you pick up uh, Power Rangers uh, Lost Chronicles, and I had that one so almost completely done. It was so close, like I I literally just had to like edit one segment and I just I didn't do that and then it got later and later from the release date and like that's a book that no one is thinking about now and it's just like how how useful is that video going up right now like it's if I put it up it's it's like just to put up a video but that's you know maybe one person every three months is going to click on that saying should I pick this up and and cool like maybe that's useful but um I don't know I, I didn't necessarily think so and just Kind of stuff like that. So, you know, I'll, I'll kind of look through, uh, see what I've got, and see if it, it makes sense for anything to go up. Um, but really, there's been a few different videos that I've had the idea of making. And, you know, those are the ones that, that have really stuck with me, um, that I really kind of want to get to. And I, I'm also thinking that I kind of want to get more back to... Um, a format where I'm doing a little bit more uh, list videos um, or not necessarily list but thematic videos um, so things like uh, five underrated crime comics where it's not necessarily a list but it's just kind of grouping some books together um, you know different videos I've had like that um, that I tend to you know they're they're slightly bigger undertakings but I think they're probably better videos um, and intersperse those with a little bit more of sort of single book or overview or things like that, which generally don't, uh, not as many people watch. Um, but I think those are useful, um, especially for, you know, people who are looking for reviews or kind of knowing about books, especially the ones that I cover. So I've got some things on that. Um, one of the big videos that I, I'm going to be doing um, is the, the 10, uh, my 10 favorite comics uh, that I read while I was out. Um, you can't see them here, but they're actually all laid out uh, over on the desk over there. So um, that's going to be one that's going to involve shooting some B-roll and things like that. So that's going to be a little bit more of an undertaking. But just to kind of get um, back in the swing of things, uh, I I actually am already planning. Um, if all, all, all goes according to plan, and it, it should, um, this will be going up on Thursday, uh, September 5th. And then on Friday... Uh, the the sixth, I want to uh, get the first of my sort of going back to the the single book overview uh, for the Autumn Kingdom. So this is a new book by Oni. I've been really excited for this one. Um, it's a uh, other side. 
Christopher Mitten, who was the artist on Wasteland, which is a series I love. I've talked about it a few times here, uh, which was also from Oni Press. So I've been really, really excited to check this one out. Um, and I think this is uh, this is going to be just sort of a, a cool way to, to get that going. So basically, my plan is as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to just read through it. And then just kind of like I did with uh, Transformers, number one, the Daniel Warren Johnson one, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna put that up, um, just using kind of some preview images and, and just kind of get my thoughts out there, uh, which seems pretty fun. But yeah, without anything else specific, that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, if you're still here after 10 minutes, uh, I'm sorry, you probably could have done something better with your time, but hey, uh, you wanna see what I got at the comic shop today? So, in addition to my weekly comics, which I was planning on getting, um, going to my comic shop, Carol and John's uh, at uh, Cam's Corner in Cleveland. Awesome shop. And uh, I go up, and they have a, a big sign on the, um, on the front that says, $20 graphic novels. And I'm like, oh, all right, it's, it's interesting. And at first glance, I'm like, eh, you know, it doesn't seem like anything. And I look down, and I'm like, wait, wait, what? So... <laughs> I looked through, and we got a box worth, uh, because they had some absolute bangers in that list. So let's share what I picked up. So again, all of these just flat rate twenty bucks. It wasn't fifty percent off. It was. It is just if it's on the table, it's twenty bucks. So first off, we've got a Fear Agent, Volume One. Uh, this is the the reprint that just came out. I I kept waiting on this one, and I kept. I kept holding off. I kept saying, eh, I don't think I need it, you know, but 20 bucks and supporting my comic shop, I couldn't say no. And it's it's one of the, the really big remender size ones, so grab that one. Next one is the uh, is is the die uh, deluxe edition. This is one uh, by Kieran Gillen and Stephanie Hans um, that is sort of almost like a, a horror-ish game. It's, uh, you know, some kids get sucked into a, a role-playing game. If you die in the game, you die in real life. It's, it's that whole kind of thing. I didn't love this story. I enjoyed it. I didn't love it, so I kind of passed on it before. But the Stephanie Hans artwork in this is brilliant. Um, can't I, the cowls i'm i'm sorry as you can see i just picked this up and it's been a few years since i've read this i don't know if cowls is the colorist or the letterer i think stephanie hans colored her own work in this if uh if cowl is the um is the uh the color artist then um you know huge props because the color was such a big part of this but actually one of my absolute favorite pages in all of comics came from this. I think there's just such a, a beautiful, heartbreaking page on this that I, I might highlight a little bit later. And honestly, it's that page that was kind of uh, what did it for me. But it's a it's a nice story, even if it's not, you know, the not going to be an all timer. But again, supporting the comic shop, twenty bucks. Not saying no. We've got Barry Windsor Smith Monsters. Um, this is one. I took out from the library and I started reading it. I didn't finish it, and I always planned on going back. But again, twenty bucks. It's a little beat up. You know, you got a little, you know, a uh, little ding right there, and it's only a forty dollar book cover, so it was you know half price for a damaged copy. It's supporting my shop. I'm I don't mind. So this right here might be a surprise. Um, Invincible probably doesn't immediately track as a bunk book. Um, so, Invincible is definitely not my favorite comics. You'll you'll find tons of people on YouTube who, you know, will rave about uh, how good Invincible is, and and truthfully, they'll be right. Um, Invincible bills itself as, I think they call it, uh, it, it so uh, the definitive collection of what is probably the best superhero comic book in the universe. I've seen it uh, call itself the the ultimate superhero comic. There is something very true about that. Like, everything that is the superhero genre, um, Invincible is doing that. Like, this is 
if someone was to like distill the superhero genre into a hugely digestible form, it's invincible. And recently on an OPP whatnot, I ended up grabbing um, five volumes of the Ultimate Collection uh, for something crazy, like twenty bucks. It was like I, I don't own Invincible. I've read it digitally. Um, I enjoy it, and but for like twenty bucks, I was like, yeah, I'll do that. But it didn't have uh, volume one um, as one of the the like random ones that it was in. So I saw this and was like, well, I guess that's uh, happening. Next up, um, Art of Sean Phillips. I love Sean Phillips as an artist. Um, I think I've shown off before. Um, one of my favorite pages in my collection of original art pages is a Sean Phillips page from Criminal. Um, this is a beautiful oversized edition that came out from Dynamite. And I can't wait to check out what is in here. Um, just, you know, I think it's mostly going to be reprinting some of sort of like the, the biggest splash pages and, you know, the biggest impacts, the quote unquote money shots from his career. Um, but I don't know. I, you know, might be some original stuff, might be some studio stuff he's done. I remember when this was coming out and I always thought that's really cool, but I'm not a big art book person, but I'm becoming more of an art book person. Am I an art book person? I don't know. I don't know. But if it's Sean Phillips, I'm willing to be. And then the last one. By far the one I was most excited about. If I was only going to buy one of the books here, it was for sure going to be this one. And this is the only one that I, like, would be a 100% double dip. But this is the deluxe oversized slipcase edition of Midnight Nation. Uh, this is by J. Michael Straczynski. Uh, on writing duties, Gary Frank uh, on on the art duty, and it tells just this absolutely wonderful, beautiful story about basically forgotten people, um, sort of the the people in society who are sort of pushed to the side, and uh, and are are forgotten, and sort of one man's quest to to uh you know basically uh to do what he needs to do to help save his family before he becomes a forgotten person um it's a it's a wonderful story um it is my favorite jms uh story that's done um somewhere up i'm so bad at knowing which you know where things are on the camera somewhere up there or there um i have a, a trade paperback version of this but um this is awesome Gary Frank art. And again, this is a big slipcase edition. You can see it's, it's bigger than the, uh, the, uh, the invincible standard. Actually, I might be the size of an absolute. So it's only 12 issues, so it's not as thick, but this is absolute swamp thing. This is midnight nation. Yep. That's absolute size. Okay, I knew it was big. I just I didn't know um, exactly how big, but yeah, um, this book is wonderful. Um, I want to say MSRP on this is is a hundred dollars, which is why I never felt the need to double dip before. But for twenty bucks, absolutely, I'm I'm super happy to do that. But yeah, anyway, uh, just a little mini haul, just to try and make this a little bit more interesting. Um, you know that little uh, you know, the little little scooting around is gonna cause me to do some minimal editing, which I was hoping to kind of pull a Jess Bragg on this one, where I could just sort of put it up without that. But hey, that's life. But anyway, uh, that's kind of what I was here to say. But like I said before, I I do want to hear from you guys. Um, especially if you stuck around this long, uh, what are you doing with your life? I really hope that like you put your phone down and you're doing something else while you're listening. But if you made it this far, let me know, um, you know, historically, what videos of mine have you liked? If, if you have watched this for 20 minutes, uh, there's something about me you like, um, you know, what's, what are your favorite kind of videos that, uh, that I've been doing? What do you want to see more of? Um, you know, outside of, outside of the the power rangers reading order which is coming i i will get that done before the end of the year 
Um, but outside of, of that, um, you know, are, are there any things that you want to see? You know, I'm not, I, I'm not going to traditionally be the kind of person that's, you know, reviewing the, the hot new releases unless it's a little bit more fringe like Power Rangers or something else. Or, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be like a, a rage bait uh, kind of guy. I'm, you know, pretty low key guy who likes to talk about comics I like. But, you know, what are you guys into? What, uh, what would you like to see from me? Uh, let me know down below. But with that, I've been Bunkmaster B. You all have been amazing. And I got a uh, Autumn Kingdom to read and a video to put up on it. I'll see you.